opposition to a billion dollar I-70 expansion in Denver is getting louder, despite getting a final green light from the feds last week. Liz Gilardi sat in a crowded room tonight as more than 100 people shared their concerns. Liz joins us live tonight. And I thought this was a done deal, Liz. Well, and the people gathered tonight, many with these signs in their yards are still very much concerned and they want to make enough noise to make a change and change some minds. When you've called a neighborhood home as long as Betty Cram. That's a long time ago. You want to look out for its future. Take all our history, take all our heritage. I-70 right down the street. Her thoughts about the expansion in her front yard. Why? I don't, I don't know exactly why that came around, but it was a very bad idea and we have fought it ever since. Why aren't they listening? What is their reasoning? Similar feelings echoed in this town hall meeting. We have to put a stop to this now. To discuss what's next, now that the Federal Highway Administration approved the expansion, widening I-70 and burying it. It's not an ideal situation to be in. During the town hall, CDOT held its own Facebook Live conversation. Conversation. That record decision was 13 years in the making, and in that 13 years, we've gone through, we've looked at different alternatives. The project is moving forward despite a federal civil rights investigation and pending lawsuits. CDOT hopes to begin construction next year. Controversy tied to it surrounding a flood mitigation project at City Park Golf Course and concerns about flooding in Globeville, where City Council plans to ask for $80 million to address concerns. Part of the frustration uh, as a member of council was some of the arguments that the monies that we were approving had nothing to do with this when in fact they have everything to do with this. And many of the people in that room tonight are in favor of an alternative route. They are simply just too concerned about some of the environmental and potential health impacts with this project. See that though is telling us they're moving forward and they will be taking steps to hire a contractor and will be holding public meetings next month. Reporting live, Liz Gilardi, Denver 7. Liz Gilardi, thank you.